The simple pleasures in life, like enjoying a sip of water, breathing, or simply taking a leak, are just some of the sacrifices actors make to bring us our favorite movies. Check out the crazy things actors will put up with in order to get the shot. Number 1. Cat prosthetics, like cats, are evil. You may be surprised to find out that kitty cat polyjuice transformation Hermione went through in Harry Potter wasn't CGI. And it wasn't even Emma Watson either. Turns out Emma had a horrible allergic reaction to the glue they were using on her face. So stunt double Flick Miles filled in for the scene. The shot isn't entirely without CGI though, as the cat eyes were created in post. Maybe the movie Cats could take a lesson or two from Harry Potter in feline makeup. Number 2. As opposed to non axe istant danger? Brett Beatty was more than just a stunt double for Reese Davies in Lord of the Rings because, as it turns out, the actor was allergic to his prosthetics. And this one time Beatty had to throw an axe, he accidentally nicked his eyebrow. Now here's the freaky part. Because he was wearing a prosthetic mask, the blood couldn't get out and actually started building up under the mask. And eventually, one of the eye bags which was glued on ruptured and the blood started spurting out. Despite how horrific the whole event sounds, apparently it looked a lot worse than it was. Number 3. Stellan Skarsgård found himself in a bit of a sticky situation while filming Dune. I did not want to drown in that black goo that I was, uh, <laughs> was dipping into there. His suit weighed about 88 pounds, which by the way is the weight of a baby hippopotamus, the exact look the director was going for. Skarsgård needed a cooling vest hooked up inside the suit so he wouldn't have a stroke. And then they found the man was too buoyant for the oil, and they had to stab holes in the suit so he would sink. Number 4. Just 10 minutes of yoga and you'll be fine. We've all been there. Curled up in weird positions on our computer chair, watching YouTube videos for hours on end, and waking up with a crook in the neck in the morning. Selma Hayek experienced something similar while filming Eternals. Apparently it gets tiring carrying all that extra weight around on your head. Who would have thought? She's not one for complaining though, and she did love the experience. Number 5. Didn't anybody teach Johnny Depp not to run with scissors? The suit he was wearing was supposedly so hot and tight it actually caused him to pass out from running. While there are lots of stories about actors coming close to passing out, this is the first we've heard of it actually happening. He didn't tell anyone he was experiencing any dizziness ahead of time, or we're sure they would have been there with water. Number 6. Do beasts sweat or do they pant? Dan Stevens, who played the Beast in the live-action Beauty and the Beast, had to use stilts and wear a muscle vest. He also needed to wear a cooling vest to keep him from overheating. And honestly, the best part of this story is the fact he had to eat four whole roast dinners a day to stop himself from wasting away. Funny, this reminds us of one of the songs from the movies. When I was a lad, I ate four whole roast dinners. The craft table on that set must have been amazing. Number 7. And we don't mean the A-list actors. Turns out Christian Bale could barely breathe in his costume because when it was cold, the material would get tight on his head. It got so difficult to breathe, he recounts seeing stars. And Bale had a thing or two to say to Robert Pattinson, who's taking up the character in 2022, telling him, just make sure you're going to be able to relieve yourself. Honestly, that's good advice. Tom Holland had the same struggle. Why is nobody building a secret zipper into these things? Number 8. Ruby Rose has a bit more than rosy cheeks after her time in the mask. She had a latex allergy that only got worse throughout filming. Her hives got so bad, she decided not to return for a second season. Poor Ruby. All she had to say was, eventually, I took off the cowl at the end and my whole face was hives. My throat was all messed up. It was like it was out of a scary movie. Maybe they could have recast her as the polka dot man's sister or something? Number 9. Listen to your mother's advice. After months of wearing caked on makeup and heavy prosthetics, Jessica Chastain found her skin stretched out and feared she'd done permanent damage to it. When she finally took all that makeup off and truly saw herself for the first time, she said she recounts looking 50 years old. For the record, she's 44 years old right now. If you keep making that face long enough, we guess it really does get stuck like that. Hopefully after a few weeks it bounced back. Number 10. Maybe in this case, do let go. In a weird twist of fate, Kate Winslet almost drowned while filming the Titanic. 
She remembers running away from a wave that crashed against a closed gate. Her coat was snagged and she suddenly found herself submerged in water, and she had to struggle to get herself free. All we can picture now is Jack saying, Never let go. From atop the floating door. You're welcome to steal this great fanfic idea, by the way. Number 11. We're pretty sure that isn't how you kill a zombie. The life of an actor sounds glamorous in theory, but when you've got a 1am makeup call for a 6am start, it seems a little less ideal. Army of the Dead's Richard Citrone found himself in this situation when he was playing Zeus the Zombie King. Early mornings, long days in a silicone costume that didn't breathe, filming in Albuquerque in 100 degree weather. Now we can see what Taika Waititi was on about in Free Guy. Albuquerque boiled turkey. Staying hydrated is important, to say the least. Number 12. Surprisingly, the cause isn't your annoying little brother. We're getting wrapped <laughs> at 4.11, and I don't mean <laughs> wrapped like goodbye for the day. This Is Us star Mandy Moore had to deal with different prosthetics depending on what age she was playing in the show. When she was playing 68-year-old Rebecca, she started the makeup process by taking Advil to protect from the inevitable headache she would endure while her hair was pinned back. We feel you, girl. There's no better feeling than removing a ponytail at the end of the day. Number 13. Girls just wanna have fun. Well, boys do too. While Tom Holland is no stranger to women's fashion, he was not too happy with needing to wear a thong under the Spidey suit. This was not optional. And coming in second place for most uncomfortable part of the suit has to be Holland drinking water through a straw, protruding out of the suit's eye. Number 14. Washing off your makeup after a long day is no joke. Er. Washing Margot Robbie's makeup off during Suicide Squad was a pain in the, uh, little monster? They set up a pop-up tent inside an abandoned building, stood her in a kiddie pool, and sprayed her down with Hudson sprayers. We were relieved to find out a Hudson sprayer was not a fire hose, but it still sounds uncomfortable. Number 15. That's not the way menthol's supposed to be used. Joe Keery was a gooey, snotty-nosed mess during the filming of Stranger Things, in the scene where his character was getting beat up. He had a sponge stuffed up his nose and menthol blown into his eyes. Not much acting is really necessary in a scene where you're actually looking and feeling like total garbage. I was like all swollen underneath the makeup. Number 16. It does not get worse than this. The final battle in Twilight had Elizabeth Reeser, who played Esme Cullen, in a ton of pain. Normally, snow in the eye isn't painful, but when you're wearing contacts and that snow is actually made out of paper, it's bound to hurt in a whole new way. Her eyelids swelled up from it. One of the worst possible things we can imagine is paper cuts in the eyes. Are your eyes itchy now too? Let's move on. 17. Still better than bad breath. Being Cinderella seems like a dream come true, until you remember the impossible beauty standards thrust upon women in Hollywood. There were some news reports that Lily James's waist had been digitally shrunk down in her ball gown, but nope. Lily was squeezed into a very tiny corset. She couldn't eat in costume, and so was just chugging back liquids because it's all she could digest. And she had to take frequent breaks while they filmed dance scenes because she found herself breathless and not because any prince was sweeping her off her feet. And her shoes. They were made of real Swarovski crystals. They were incredibly painful, and the actor couldn't even get them on. It doesn't fit, because so, <gasps> it's made of Swarovski crystal. Number 18. Trust us, complaining doesn't get you anywhere. Barry Keon was a big complainer about the three layers to his costume, especially when it came to the heat. It took three layers to it and I complained every day about it. While boiling alive in a superhero suit isn't anything new for actors, we can definitely say we empathize with him all the same. It's quite hard to move in. Number 19. We're not talking about bearded dragons. Did you hear about the real flaming beard that was used in Pirates of the Caribbean? Here comes the smolder. Actor Vince Lozano was burned, other people were burned, and the beard actually caught on fire. Seriously, this one should have just been done with CGI. Number 20. For what was supposed to be a floating scene, she sure was weighed down a lot. She blows up like a balloon and floats away, and it's a lot easier to say that than it is to do it. Pam Ferris blowing up like a balloon as Aunt Marge in Harry Potter wasn't CGI. 
Her inflatable suit had three stages of prosthetics and weighed about 50 pounds. It contained special pumps, degassing chambers for inflating and deflating the suit, and expandable rubber bladders. Seriously, they couldn't find better names for this stuff? The crazy part is, the suit caused her to faint while they were filming the scene. Hey, look, we found a second fainter. Do you have any other crazy stories of actors putting themselves in danger for a role? Leave them in the comments and then go distract yourself from the horrible, the horrible thought of paper getting stuck underneath your eyelid.